is the Kuner Fur. And today I'm doing a, another unboxing of, on review on a new Nerf line called the Modulus line. Go check out my other review on the Nerf Iron Fire. But yes, this is the Nerf Recon MK2. Well, that's what I call it at least. It's not that big. It's a remake of the Retaliator. So this is how it works basically. The Retaliator took over the Recon. And now this is taking over the Retaliator. It comes with top loading one side rail. I think I can't see the other if there is any other. A 6 mag a stock. And yeah. It comes with a stock attachment point and a barrel attachment point. As you can see, the stock and barrel, pretty obvious. Recon MK2 or MKLL. I'm mm, the Latin numbers. So here's the back, Nerf Modulus, all the combinations, over a thousand combinations of Nerf Plus does you can make on the Modulus, but that's all the Modulus stuff. Here's the person at the top holding the Recon, and yeah, Modulus, all the combinations, all the kits you can buy. It comes with six darts to go with the six clip that it comes with. And yeah, very comfortable grip because it's because you can feel it from here. Good. And yeah, so let's get on to the unboxing. So as you can see, I've got all the twine out of these. So now I'm just gonna pull this out. Already been opened, but mm, got all the twine out. So now I can show you the gun and my thoughts on it before we do the firing stuff. So, here's the gun. It's pretty comfortable. The grip is perfectly perfect. It's got a handguard. It's just like the Retaliator. I don't use the Retaliator much, but I think I would use this. The Retaliator is one of my favorite guns though, but the Retaliator is my favorite gun. What? Not that much. So, so it's got a rail on top of the blaster, and it's also got a side rail. It's got barrel attachment, so I'm gonna grab the barrel. Just, uh, you just put it on, it slides on. Sadly, it doesn't have the little divot or the knob to click in properly, so and it's fr pretty flimsy than the other Nerf blasters, such as the Retaliator. But I'm I'm fine with it. I'm I'm not that mad about it. But I don't think I don't want them to continue with that. The barrel is pretty cool. It's got a short barrel. It's something that you could put the modulus. At, point on so you can put something on top of that if you have not had the modulus before you would not know about that but if you have you would know what I'm talking about the stock it's pretty short I I wouldn't use the stock and an earth I would preferably use a, um, another stock that's not as short and uh, a little comfortable it's not it is pretty comfortable I actually don't mind how comfortable the stock is but it's fine to me it comes with a plain six mag that just clicks in like that just unload easily so yeah that's basically it about the gun that you can use and everything so let's get on to the firing test oh. dummy time Okay, the dummies out there. Let's do this. I'm gonna be running. Still a wind. Oh come on! Oh my god! I didn't hit him once. It all went past. 
plaster. So for my overview of this plaster, um, it's good. I like it. It's got a really cool looking barrel. It doesn't, I still wish it would slide, it would click on properly. The priming, it's good. It's just like the retaliator. And the stock, it's pretty small. I, I don't, I don't think I would use it. I would use a different stock, for instance. This, colors, bad. Stock, good. I like that stock. <laughs> but yeah, I give it a thumbs up. It's a good blaster from all the modulus line. Side rail, put anything on there. For instance, bullet holder, pew pew pew, pistol. Anyway, I give this a thumbs up. So, just like to say, this is Kiwi Nerfer, and I would like to say thank you for watching.